Hello everyone and welcome to another Remnant 2 guide video. In today's video we're going to be talking about the Moro Parish or Moro Sanatorium safe inside of the Lassam world. So if you don't know where we are, we are in Lassam and we are in the Moro Sanatorium. You'll see that in the middle of the map there. Um, depending on which uh, campaign you are, you will come here naturally. It's part of the um, quest line. So the first thing I want to do is kind of show you where the safe room is unfortunately this code is different for every single person or can be different for every single person so while you'll get the code from here the code for you might be just a bit different um, but don't worry we're gonna go over all the steps the steps include grabbing three different night weaver statues and then um, speaking with the head of the sanatorium and returning her statues to her and we're going to show you that on screen throughout the video so i do want to thank you all for tuning in but we're going to come in through that window you saw and we're going to kind of just make our way through this area um if you're here relatively early in games these guys can can hurt a little bit um but it's relatively straightforward just kind of push through and, and it'll make your life easier i think if you um kind of clear this area of all the ads there is a chest in this little office room so don't um, miss that that was on there on both of my playthroughs so I think it's there every time so if we head down the central staircase here and we go um, we can't open this door but we will open it soon we're going to show you how to do that it's a nice little shortcut and we're going to head just behind this kind of this front desk here into that room just behind and you'll see the safe here on the right so we're you see the safe we're going to grab this bandage which is nice it does help uh those help you with uh controlling any kind of bleed effects on you but um the safe is right here in the office you can see it right there on screen now so like i said we need to grab three different night weaver statues the first is just off the office to the left there is a little ad in here so make sure um, she doesn't give you any grief and the first statue is here on the floor behind the bookshelf if we return back to the office from the office we'll take a right and we're gonna head down into the basement again there are a few different ads down here so just make your way kind of slowly steadily if you're by yourself um, and just kind of these little like I don't know leeches or slugs kind of clear them out um, slow and steady wins the race if like I said if you're by yourself so no need to get all aggressive but we're gonna clear all these guys out I'm just checking for loot for you guys and we're gonna head up these back stairs so that's where the uh, the cell right there is where the head of the sanatorium is um, and we're gonna get to that short I'm trying not to spoil anything but um, we will come back to this area soon so once we come out into the like the front courtyard area you can finally unlock this door which is very handy as a shortcut so make sure you do that open that door perfect you can see it brings us right back into like the main like uh, staircase area from that doorway you'll take a right and you come back to this back corner and this is where the second statue is um, and then you want to open this little shed or something and uh, be ready be ready for this shed because we're gonna open this shed and there's a big dude behind it with a big old chainsaw thing you're gonna to want to kill him um, and then there is a key inside of this shed for the third floor so I'm gonna fast forward through this and I'll see you once we've beaten him so once he's down you're gonna come in here and you're gonna grab the asylum third floor key and head back to the uh, we're just gonna get some heels here real quick we're gonna head back inside of the sanatorium up the main staircase and we're gonna head to the third floor this kind of place with a lot of these places in this game are kind of like a maze so i do get it turned around here so i do apologize but um we want to take a right inside this door and come up these stairs to this locked door here at the top and now that you have the third floor key it will kind of try to open it and then you're going to have to use this key on that door once you get the door open you want to take a left and there's only one real path to go here but there are going to be a lot of these gargoyle -y 
things. <laughs> I don't know what they are, but we're you're gonna want to clear all this out again. Just make yourself make this easier on yourself. There is a chest here, so don't miss that again. That was there on both of my playthroughs, so I think it's there every time. Um, and then just continue to clear this room out and follow the really the only path that it allows you to take, and you'll come to the the third and final statue or doll. So we're just going to keep going here. You can see there's a door and you can't go anywhere else. And you can kind of see it behind that partition right there. Uh, we're just going to clear it out. Commander's doing a good job. He's a good boy. So we're going to grab this stone carved doll and that's our third one. And now if you follow the path that I'm going to show you on screen now, we, we're going to get a key for um, the, the the cell door for the head of the sanatorium so may, don't leave this area until you've gotten this key as part of the interaction with her um, it is it is very good to have so make sure you grab this key out here on this balcony and then now we're good to head down into the basement um, to go speak with her and this is where we're gonna get our code so if you need a piece of paper or something, I would highly suggest you have subtitles on as well um, because it does help because what's going to happen is she's going to sing a song for you. And within those song, that song, there's going to be numbers that you need to take note of. Uh, again, I, get, I took a right, should have taken a left. I do apologize. So we're going to come down this stairway here, back into the basement. We've already been down here before. And again, if you need a piece of paper or something, uh, grab it now. So you will kind of want to befriend her here in this conversation. So I pick, how did you get locked in there? Um, and you want to progress through the, the dialogue with her until you're able to give her the um, stone statues. And once you give her the stone statues, that's when she's going to start singing and you must be ready. So I have something of yours. Don't unlock the door yet. Are these, are these your sculptures? Give her the dolls. And then get ready for her song. So let this play out here a little bit. Uh, there, you know, she's very proud of it, etc. I remember now. Here we go. Nine, from nine discarded cones, seven, and seven yellow leaves excised from one forgotten one. tone. So little corny barrels. Once you have the code, it's really up to you what you want to do after that. You do have the key, so you can choose to unlock her, but there is a lot of dialogue to go through. Come back up, you can see we put the code into the chest, and we're able to open the chest. 2971. Hopefully, this helps you out with getting this safe open. I thank you all so much for your continued support. If this video did help you, please consider dropping a like and subscribing for more content from myself. Thank you all very much. Have a great night. Bye-bye.